Hello, today on No Limit Learning, my leaders are going to show you different aspects of geometry. And we have our fabulous geo boards, but today we're not using the front side of our geo boards that has a bunch of tiny little squares. We're using the back side, which has a large circle. So, leaders, I would first like to ask you what is the diameter of a circle? What does that mean? Sapphire? The middle of the circle. Okay, it's the middle. And what, what about the middle? A line is going across the middle. Okay, so everyone show me a line that goes across the middle of your circle. That is the diameter of your circle. Ooh, Hannah's really fast. Okay, good job, Jade. Well, I'm beating. All right, Nicholas has got it. Sapphire has got it. Journey's got it. Good job. And as you can see, your diameters go in all different directions, but it doesn't matter as long as it goes across the middle. Now, let me think of something else. Raise your hand if you could tell me what radius means. What does radius mean? What is radius? Nicholas? A half of a Okay, and you already did it that fast. So radius means it's half of the diameter. So everyone show me the radius. It's half of the diameter. It goes from the center all the way to the edge of the circle. I know. Very good. Very good. Wait, Jay, does yours go to the center? Justin, yours doesn't go to the center. Look at Ryan's. Okay, now you've got it, Jay. Beautiful. It goes from the center all the way to the edge of the circle. Very good. Nicholas has got it or Johnny's got it. All righty. Now there's another word called a chord. Who remembers what a chord is? Chord. You remember? A line that goes across. Okay, it goes across the circle, but does it go across the middle? No. No. So any line that goes across anywhere in the circle, that is a chord. Okay, so Nicholas has his chord. Let's see. I'm going right across the bottom of his circle, as you can see. Okay, Ryan has got a chord on here. Very good, Ryan. Okay, Journey found a chord. Very good. So, oh, let's look at uh, Hannah's chord. She's got hers going across the top. Very good. Justin has his on an angle. All right, so we know what a chord is. So I can draw a circle on the board like this. Oh, that's an ugly circle. Well, even on my ugly circle, you can see that this is a chord, this is a chord, this is a chord. Any line going in any direction, it doesn't matter. If I can draw another circle, this line here would be the diameter. Oh, and it's crooked too. And I can draw another circle. Very, very ugly circles. I'm not the best artist. That would be the radius. Good job, leaders. Let's make some angles. Can someone make an acute angle with your geo boards? Um, Try to see if you can figure out how to make an acute angle. Well, I can make a cute angle. Nicholas, acute angle. Whoa. Okay, so acute angle. Is that bigger than a, a right angle or smaller? Smaller. Smaller. That's a cute angle. Well, I'll make a, can someone make I, I a right angle? Can someone make a right angle? Raise your hand if you could tell me how many degrees is a right angle. How many degrees? Only one person remembers? Ooh. Okay, ooh. Degrees. Not quite. 90. 90 degrees. Good job. So 90 degrees. I'm done. What, what letter does a right angle make? Uh, L. The letter L. Let's see. I've got a right angle right here. Good job. Need some more? Come on. Some more right angles. Almost. Let's turn this into a right angle. Take cool. that little piece cool. off. Right now let's look at it. Good job. You made a right angle. Right angle. This is oh, Jay's got it. Now let's look at Jay's geo board. Whoa. Jay's geo board. I can have it upside down or I can turn it right side up. Okay, leaders, look at this. What type of lines are these? They cross like the letter T. Raise your hand if you remember what type of lines are these that cross like the letter T. No. Yes, Nicholas. Intersecting. Okay, they're intersecting each other. They're crossing each other. And what else? Starts with a P. Starts with a P. Yes, Ryan? Huh? huh? Parallel. They're not parallel to each other. You all show me with your arms two parallel lines. Show me two parallel lines. Those are parallel. What do you think these are? 
Perpendicular. Perpend now you remember. These are perpendicular lines. They cross like the letter T. Very good. So I would like for you to make me two parallel lines using your geo boards. Show me two parallel lines. Two parallel lines. Beautiful, Hannah. Let me see. Good job. Good job. So does it matter what direction they're in? Hannah, can I see your no, board? No, 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 no. So they can go this way. I can also turn it this way. I can turn it on, on an angle. But as you see, it doesn't matter which direction I'm looking in. The angles, I mean the lines are always parallel to each other. All right. And show me, let's see who can make an obtuse angle. Obtuse. That's easy. Obtuse. Raise your hand if you could tell me if obtuse angle is bigger or smaller than a right angle. Bigger or smaller? Yes. Bigger. It's bigger. Very good. Let's see who can figure out how to make an obtuse angle. Huh? Nicholas, is that angle obtuse? What type of angle is that? It's a Q. All right, need an obtuse angle. So how about this? If you're having trouble, let's start off with one line. Let's make a line on our boards. Okay, and then you have to put the rubber band on the same. Oh, that's still not obtuse. Now, now I've got an obtuse angle here. Can everyone see Miss Scott's obtuse angle? That's one way you can make it. Okay, is your angle obtuse a journey? Yes or no? Is it obtuse? No. No, it's not. What type of angle did you just make? A Q. A Q. So we're going to keep working. Ah, very good, Ryan. You made an obtuse angle. It almost looks like a clock. Very good. Almost looks like a clock. Actually, it looks like a grocery. All righty. Well, we're out of time. So when you have your geo boards at home, you can do lots of things. Not just um, use the front side, but to flip them over. Use the back side. You can learn about angles. You can learn about lines and a lot of other great things. All right, that's all for No Limit Learning today. Bye. Bye-bye.